Hi everyone and welcome to our channel specialized in designing MATLAB applications. A few days ago, we presented a basic nonlinear problem solver based on a trust region method, TRM. You can find it from the link given below in the description. In this video, we are presenting the advanced version. We call it nonlinear problem solver brew. We can see the application here. Let's run it. This advanced app has lots of features that make it a very powerful tool for mathematicians, scientists, and engineers. In addition to the basic features, entering equation from here, defining starting point from here, interaction with the user from the message window from here, we can see it, and configuring plots from these panels. We can configure the plots, the reference line, and the solution points with any things in our mind. In addition to these features, basic features, this professional app allows the user to do the following. First, we can select the algorithm. In the basic version, we can just select the trust region algorithm. Here, we can select the trust region algorithm, the trust region dogleg algorithm, and levenberg markwart algorithm. Also, if we select levenberg markwart algorithm, LM algorithm, we can also select the initial dumping parameter. We can do that also. The other things that this professional app allows us to do are specifying the maximum number of iterations and function evaluations from here. Maximum number of iterations and maximum number of function evaluations. Also, we can define the function tolerance from here, optimality tolerance and step tolerance. Also, the program allows us to show different types of results in the display window from here. This display window, we can select any one of these displays. Either none, nothing will be shown in this display. Iter or iterations, iterations in details, final or final in details. So let's select, for example, this one. Also, we can generate different plots from here. We can select current point, function count, function value, step size, and the first order optimality measure. Also, we can see both the solution value here and the fitness of that value. So now, let's solve this problem. Let's come here. We can see the plot here, and let's solve it. So this is the solution. Now, let's define another problem, sine of x times cosine of 0.5 times x. If you remember, the same problem that has been solved before in the basic program. So, this is the function, and now let's select this algorithm, trust region dogleg, and let's start from 1. Initial point is 1. So this is the solution. And we can see 0, 0. And now let's select 4. So this is the solution. And this is the value for fitness. And also, let's select minus 2. So this is the solution. And this is the fitness. And let's see the results here. We can see the results. We can change the font color, for example, to blue. We can change it. We can change the font size. And we can see all the solutions for different points. All can be seen here. Now, let's solve another problem. Sign of x times tan of cosine of x. So this is the equation, and this is the plot of the equations. And let's solve it, for example, by using this algorithm. And let's start from, for example, 1. 
So this is the solution here. We can see it. Let's select, for example, here minus four. And let's select, for example, also here function count or function value. And let's see the plot. So it can show us the plot and we can select from here. We can select line style to solid so we can see it. Let's solve it from, for example, minus 10. Okay. And let's select, for example, this algorithm. Okay. And let's change also the tolerance to this value and optimality also to this value and step size to this value. So this is our settings and let's start solving it. So we can see that one. This is for function value. We can see it here. You can select that, select this and line style to solid. We can see it. Or we can redo it again but for function count and let's start it so this is the plot or we can select for example current point this is the one or we can select first order optimality measure so it will be this plot we can select the points and change that line start to solid and then we can come here to see all the results of course the last results are repeated because we generated different plots for the same starting points at the end you can download the entire project from the links provided below in the description thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to see more advanced apps goodbye